pleasure to welcome you here today on this October evening in the presence of God, family, and friends. Robert and Julian will formally join their lives together, two beautiful spirits sharing the most sacred and tender of all human relationships. Robert and Julian, thank you for the journeys you've taken today to be with them as they commit their lives to one another. You were invited here to share this moment with this couple because you are the people who mean the most to them. The understanding and mutual respect that they bring to their lives together has its roots in the love, friendship, and guidance you have given them. The greatest happiness of life is knowing that we are loved. Love for who we are. If there is anything better than being loved, it is loving another. Today we are here to celebrate such love in the pure splendor and beauty of the Rocky Mountains. There is nothing more romantic than a wedding ceremony at the historic Stanley Hotel with breathtaking views. We revel in the feeling, deep and beyond words. These moments are to be cherished. On Julian's birthday, weekend five years ago, Robert decided to surprise him and fly to Las Vegas to see Britney Spears as a propose. <laughs> After the show, they were walking by the Bellagio when Robert said that this would be a nice spot to take a photo. Anyone who knows Julian would agree that he loves a photo op moment. <laughs> so naturally, he ran his fingers through his hair to make sure it looked good, while Robert handed his phone to his friend. It was a true fairy tale moment in front of the fountains while the Pink Panther played. The song made, song made Robert think of his mother. Ironically, they used to watch that show together, and he took it as a very good omen. Julian was purely, genuinely, never would have guessed or saw it coming, shocked. This is where your journey to marriage began, but not where it will end. Robert and Julian, this is a time in both of your lives where you have had an ongoing conversation over the years about hopes, promises, goals, dreams, and rights and concessions. You have already made a covenant, an invisible bond of commitment, just two people working out what they believe, want, and hope for each other. You have both undertaken this commitment, and you know it can be the most fulfilling journey. You are willing to say, I love you, I trust you, and I will always and forever be here for you. Today you come before your family and friends to affirm your love, knowing that marriage is at once the most tender, yet challenging of all relations in life. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique unto themselves which finds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other and it takes a lifetime to fulfill. Marriage is not just held together by love. Love is like a fire. It will rage and, it will rage and keep you warm on a dark, cold night, but it can burn you just the same. We're shed, all fires go out, and must be restarted from time to time. When you marry, you do your best to remember that respect and trust are just as important to the success of a marriage as love. If you respect and trust one another, you'll never find yourself unable to relight that fire. May the ceremony today remind you that despite the stresses inevitable in every life, your love, respect, trust, and understanding of each other will continue to increase your contentment and heighten your joy in living. You meet thousands of people, and none of them really touch you. And then you meet one person, and your life is forever changed. Robert, when Julian met you, he actually felt a little intimidated by your demeanor. And then he fell into your deep blue eyes. Towards the end of the evening, the two of you locked eyes in the elevator, and the rest is history. When you first began dating, you made Julian in a very romantic dinner. You professed your love, and you let him know how special he was to you. He was falling in love. 
Over these past years, you continue to say or do something, and when Julian looks at you, he falls in love over and over again. The two of you share friendship like no other. You love and support each other. Julian knows that the things that matter to him are important to you. With you, Julian feels empowered. He feels like he can do anything and conquer the world because he knows you have his back. He knows that you believe in him more than he believes in himself. Julian admires your fearlessness to everything and everyone. He respects your determination and ability to overcome very challenging problems. You can figure anything out. Julian loves your sense of humor. The two of you share your own private language, and you always make him laugh. And you are quirky. You never throw away the box that comes with any IT product, nor do you appreciate if Julian does. You like Julian to make you coffee every morning, even though you don't drink it half the time. <laughs> Robert, with you, Julian feels protected like no one or anything can touch him. When you are apart, he feels vulnerable and he misses your presence. The house feels empty and alone. He misses the security that you bring to him. Not having you around does mean that the boys, your fur children, get to sleep on the bed to bring Julian comfort. Robert, you are Julian's best friend. You're the man that he shares his deepest fears and his most passionate dreams with. To have someone who only wants you to be happy and loved with no judgment is the purest beauty that he has ever known. There's a point where the idea of home changes from a place to a person. You realize that you're exactly where you are supposed to be. Robert, you are home to Julian. You are his comfort and his rock. You are his past, his present, and his future. You are the love of his life. Held by the earth, moved by the moon, sparked by the sun, swayed by the sea, he was a force to be reckoned with. People say, when you know, you know. When you find someone, you stop questioning if they are right for you. And you don't get too annoyed by their quirks. They make you laugh. You trust them from the beginning, and they feel like the right compliment to you. They make everything better. Julian, you are Robert's one and only. When Robert first saw you online, he took one look at you and thought, I could be happy with this man forever. And then he met you in person. You were distant at first, and as that faded, he got to know the real you. The two of you haven't stopped laughing since until the wedding planning began. <laughs> Julian, Robert fell in love with you quickly. There was a time in your relationship where you got ill. A smidge too much alcohol may have been a factor. Julian knew at that moment as he took care of you that he loved you and he would take care of you always. The two of you share a deep emotional bond. Julian, you are Robert's best friend with you, he feels loved, safe, and happy. You know and accept him for his strengths and his faults. Robert respects your intelligence, diligence, and determination. Laughter is the best medicine, and that is the core of your relationship. Julian, at times you butchered the English language, English language <laughs> which, for an attorney, which for an attorney is quite funny. You will come out with some Ricky Ricardo pronunciations, <laughs> or when speaking in English, you will interject a Spanish word and then say that word with the roll of an R and the flair of a flamingo dancer. Flamenco. Flamenco. <laughs> there is never a dull moment. I got it. There's never a dull moment. We all have flaws, and you do have one. According to Robert, you drive like a small Jewish woman from Boca. <laughs> So Wood cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the journey of life, relationships can take you on a roller coaster ride from the highest of highs 
to the lowest of lows and everything in between. Through seven years, you and Robert have weathered the loss of loved ones, law school, and the bar exam, renovating your home, and of course preparing for this day. Robert knows that he can conquer any obstacles because he will do with you, his partner, and his equal in all things. Soulmates are people in our lives whom we connect with on a deep level. You can talk to this person for hours and never get bored. You can tell this person anything and they will never judge you. You are so close that you have the ability to read each other's minds. The connection is profound and the love is deep. Julian, you are the heart and soul of this relationship. You are Robert's soulmate. You are the only man in the world for him. Robert, will you please take Julian's hands? Now, Robert, if you would please answer me this. Do you, Robert, take Julian to be your wedded husband in sickness and in health, for richer or for richer, <laughs> to love and to honor, to hold and to keep, from each sun to each moon, from tomorrow to tomorrow, from now until forever? And if so, please say, I do. Julian, will you take Robert, whose hand you now hold, to be your wedded husband, in sickness and in health, for richer or for richer, to love and to honor, to hold and to keep, from each sun to each moon, from tomorrow to tomorrow, from now until forever, and if so, please say, I do. May we have the rings, please. May these rings be a symbol of your eternal love for one another. As you wear them, may they remind you that marriage is not a destination, but a journey with no beginning and no end, just a moment-to-moment -moment opportunity to love and to be loved to the best of your ability. And now, just before you say your vows to each other, I want to remind you of what a vow is. A vow is a solemn promise a pledge that binds, a commitment of the heart, mind, soul, and body, a commitment that recognizes this as the most important of human relationships above all others. To give and to receive such a commitment is one of life's greatest gifts. It is my wish for you that you always cry in each other's tears and laugh in each other's smile as you give each other your hand to hold and your heart to keep. Robert, please place the ring on Julian's finger. Look into his eyes as you say your vows. I'm going to go ahead and need my vows. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I know the gist. <laughs> okay. to always make you laugh, even when it seems impossible. I promise to always protect you as much as possible and pick you up when the world beats you up. I promise to be your biggest fan, but still always tell you the truth. And I promise to always take care of you and keep you safe. I will be your lifelong travel buddy so we can see the world together, and I may even take a couple of photos. <laughs> but most of all, I love you, and you're my person. Please place the ring on Robert's finger and look into his eyes as you say your vows. Okay. <laughs> well, on this day, I give you my heart. I give you my promise to encourage you to cherish every moment with you and the boys, to make you laugh on days that are hard, to respect and care for you as long as we both shall live. Rob, you're my love and my life today and always.
Robert and Julian have decided to unite together with a symbolic ribbon ceremony. May we have the ribbons, please? A hand fasting ceremony has its roots in the ancient Celtic tradition symbolizing the binding together of two people and the origin of the phrase tying the knot. When I join your hands together, these ribbons have symbolic meanings. The color burgundy symbolizes ambition, wealth, power, and unbridled energy. The color cream is a perfect complement to burgundy as it symbolizes quiet, calmness, and clean beginnings and that your union may grow anew. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours, as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe away the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that, even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. It is your life, your love, and the eternal connection that the two of you have found with one another. The ties of this hand fasting are not formed by these ribbons or even by the knots connecting them. They are formed instead by your vows, by your pledge, your souls, and your two hearts, now bound together as one. Robert and Julian, having witnessed your vows of love and faith to each other, the power vested by the power vested in me by the glorious state of Colorado, is my absolute privilege to pronounce you as husband and husband, spouses for life, and you may now share your first kiss together as husband and husband. And now for the first time, it is a great pleasure to introduce you as Mr. and Mr. Robert and Julian Hernandez Marks, husband
thank you so, so, so much for traveling so far. It really means so much to us. I don't think you know. When I walked in here and I saw the room all set up like this and I realized how many people are here for us. I mean, I have friends that are here for, I've known for 20 years, you know. It, it's really amazing that everyone has come together like this and to see our families mix and enjoy, it really means so much to, so, to all my friends and to the people that are not here that we wish were, my grandmother couldn't make it. The majority of what you see here was provided by by Pat. So we miss that she's not here also. And, um, and also those we've lost that didn't get to see us uh, actually tie the knot. So for all those present and not here, we're in our heart. Thank you so much. And um, that's it. Let's have fun. Don't dream too much. And I just want to say that we were